Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss how to do paging or pagination when using Dataverse as a source. This paging approach is similar to model driven application or Dynamics 365 CE. CE is nothing but customer engagement. We will discuss step by step with the demo. Pagination is needed when working with a large data set. In some cases, businesses uh, would like to retrieve data page by page. So it means 50 or um, 100 records uh, at a time. To demonstrate, I created a simple one page app. Okay, let me run the application first and we'll discuss the steps and other components. The demo. In this simple one app page, we can able to see it. Uh, this tells drop down box tells of how many records per page and then just to retrieve it. And then this one is a gallery to display the data. And then we have a other icons, a first page, previous page, and then this one is a next page. Then this one tells about which page here. And then let me run it here. And then this, the last box tells uh, the record count. Okay. So in this case, 50 records were retrieved. It. There's a page one. Some can go to the page two, page three, and then I can come to previous page. We can come to first page. It's like a normal uh, paging uh, application, which I mentioned. This is similar to model driven application, which I show you like here, right? So model driven application, you can be able to show. Now there's a, a table called account, and then it shows all the accounts, and then you can be able to see, um, you know, previous screen, the previous page, or next page, or first page, uh, everything, and then this shows. Uh, record call. Okay. For this implementation, we have uh, two components. One is canvas application, which invoke and display the data. The second one is a power automate to retrieve the data from Dataverse. Now we will discuss the power automate. Okay. For that, to go to the flows and then we can create a power automate. Go to instance cloud flow and then select power apps and then give some naming. Okay, so already I created uh, with a similar thing, then let me explain. Okay, so there's the overall steps. Okay, the first one is you can say it a couple of variables. One is a page number. So this is to send the page or uh, page number on the request. Say for example, uh, now page number one, page number two, no, that's kind of the you know, request we are sending. Second one is uh, a fetch count. It's nothing but a records per page. How many records do you want to retrieve per page? Okay. Third one is a paging cookie, which is a modified version of the original paging cookie, which will be sent as a, a request. Okay. For example, when you requesting in a second page and then Microsoft sends a paging cookie in part of the page one response. So we'll be uh, sending that uh, paging cookie when we asking the second page. And another one is is a fetch XML paging cookie. It's a you no know, data was returns a paging cookie as part of the response, right? So this is a raw data and it will be used to a subsequent uh, request. So in this case, you can see a small power of query, uh, which we are saying for a page one, uh, which in that case, basically paging cookie is empty. Uh, and then if it's a for second page, uh, we will get the paging cookie and then we'll need to decode it. Okay. And then um, now a couple of other actions basically we are doing um, no ideally we are doing you know getting the paging cookie in a proper format and then sending along with the request. Okay. And then this one is, is a um, okay I can say it's a, it's a template. This is just a template that used to transform the paging cookie to XML. Okay. So this helps to convert the paging cookie um, and then to to the proper XML, okay? So look at here is, uh, this is a fetch XML query, this is a data was calling, table name, and fetch count, and then um, page number, and then this is the paging cookie, okay? And then look at here is, this one it tells, okay, if the page number is one, it, otherwise it's empty, otherwise for the second page, we'll be sending a proper paging cookie with the proper syntax, okay? Uh, uh, converting the proper XML. Okay, so if you look at it, this is a template which we'll be using to convert 
the paging cookie to the proper format on this Power Flex query. I'll be sharing this uh, Power Apps and Power Automate so that you can take a look at it here. And then the Compose, so this one is for just for uh, testing purposes to see what we are getting on each request. And then we are sending back to the response uh, wherever it's calling. So on this case, it's a Power Apps, it's, it's calling. So we are getting that response and then we are sending back to Power Apps. So overall, look at here is basically it asking the three parameter. One is a page number, uh, which page do you want to retrieve it? How many requests per page? That's the second one. The third one is, is a paging cookie, which is to help to retrieve the data in a pagination manner. Okay. So we'll be in a from a Power Apps, we'll be sending these three parameter and then uh, now we'll retrieve the record. We'll take a look at it in a Power Apps now. Okay, let me exit out here. And then as I mentioned, we will be using a Power Automate. So we are, so that the Power Automate we, we created already uh, under added, added uh, to this Power Apps. And then here's the retrieve button. And then look at here is, is a three parameter which we are sending. How many records you wanted? And then the page number, in this case is page is one. Okay, very first time we are using a page number one. And then when you are retrieving very first time, it's empty, right? The paging cookie is the third parameter, which is an empty one. And here, when you take a look at it on the second page, when we are sending the second page, what we are saying, what about the current page now, and then plus one. And then when you're sending the parameter, we'll be sending a, a paging cookie, which we collected from the previous run of the, of the page one, and then we'll be sending here. Look at here, it's kind of, you know, uh, encoded one. That's the reason we need to decode it on Power Automate, okay? Same thing goes with the previous page, whatever the current page, and then minus one, that's a previous page, sending the same thing, you no, know, um, page number, count, and uh, cookie. Again, for page one, so we don't need to send anything here, it like at the similar to that retrieve, all right? So both are same one. And then uh, to display the data, it's, it's a, a simple label control to display the information here. If you look at what we are getting from a response, right? So when you retrieve it, we'll be getting a um, variable, uh, response is in a variable, and then you can see it here is a couple of parameters we are getting. That's a value, it's a, that's our add records, or set of records, what are the page count, and then it's a paging cookie, whether do we have a more records or not, okay? So we'll be using this, uh, now some of the values here to enable, disable the buttons, you know, previous page, first page, those kind of things. Couple of other things, basically, if you look at it, here is uh, if you unselect color, changing the color. If you have more records, it's going to be changing the color. Otherwise, it's a dark gray. A couple of other things we'll be doing along the way here. Um, otherwise, gallery uh, items property. Look at it, here is it's a value. That's a table, right? So this is, it has a color, a lot of parameter, and then the value is the table. It's core data what we are getting, okay? So on this case, we are retrieving in a name along with the other uh, data. We can add more columns on the request and then we are able to get all the data, okay? Now let me check the flow run. So before run the flow, we'll run a couple of retrieve here, 50 records per page, and then we'll go to the next page. Okay, so we can able to see that how subsequent request is succeeded. Okay, go to the flows. Click on here. Okay, yep, 23 seconds before. Okay, run it here. Okay, so now this tells, it's a, we requested the last time, we requested the third page, and then 50 records per page, and then here's the paging cookie, which we received from the page two, right? And then if you look at here, it's kind of encoded one. And along the way, we will be uh, decoding in a you know, proper format. Look at here, this is you know, kind of a little bit in decoded here. A couple of other things we'll be doing along the way here. And then just a few more steps. Just a template to convert to that proper XML. Look at here is uh, uh, how many counts, page number, and then paging cookie, right? So there's a, a couple of steps. We'll be doing some PowerFX query to convert the cookie to the proper format so that we can able to retrieve the data, okay? 
and then finally it's a compose action which is just for testing purposes to see what response you are getting uh, along the way and then there's a final response will be sending to power Autumn, power apps here and then we did not have any any change on the request or any response we are sending back to that same response what we retrieved from the database that's all everyone thanks for watching and have a good day